He has to drive two hours, an hour and a half with that. He's not going to be a happy man when you see him again in London. <laughs> So today we have a hectic day in the garage. It's the last day of the street sweepers where we've got to get literally all of these cars ready for old school, new school. And as you can see, no wheels on there. There's still lots of things wrong with Adam's E36. So here we have the MX-5 NC road car coilovers. Okay, so just to take note, that is the arch cap which I've been driving around on, which is really not acceptable. So I say we're gonna quickly, but it's probably gonna take me ages to put on the coilovers. So we'll see where we're at with the full lowest. Hopefully we can drive it, if not, We'll have to raise it up, but hopefully we can. So I felt like I was doing really well. Like I got the bolts off and everything is coming loose and now. Uh... Oh my god! There we go. The one thing you hate, Adam, is high cars. This is to put into perspective. Yeah. You're going low. I would, I would say it's definitely going to be lower. The way you always work things is always wind it to the bottom and work your way up. Don't go the opposite way. Because you put it in and then you can't be bothered to take it back exactly. out again. Absolutely. So you just leave it as low <laughs> as human possible. <laughs> There's no denying it has to be raised like this is barely silly for a road car. I mean, you can roll the arches maybe a little bit and maybe do that, but I mean, I do still want to drive this on the road and this kind of looks like it's on air. The back, I don't know, maybe raise it up a centimeter. It's still fun. Trouble a little bit on them, so let's raise it up, yeah. This is taking longer than I thought. We had to go up and down like five enough times. I didn't press the magic button. Okay, so, so. It's way better than it was before. <laughs> <laughs> At least there's a bit of trouble that can go before it starts it rubbing. Is, it is drivable, unlike it was about 20 minutes ago. And, uh, sorry, not 20 minutes, but two hours ago. I think this is, this is perfect. This is drivable, it's going to settle about another centimetre. <laughs> okay, now we're talking. Bear in mind I have about 17 speed bumps on the way to my house. Quite all right. The other cars are loading up onto the lorry. What's up guys, we're here finally at the end of our Street Sweeper series because all our cars are at Old School New School this weekend. Amazing show put on by our friend Niall. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and quickly, because so many good cars here this video. Cars seven, cars. We're gonna try and go as quick as we can. It's a nice little sign to get you in the gate there, isn't it? Oh yep, that's uh, the okay. warning. Yep. <laughs> so we're gonna basically walk through the whole show, show you guys as quick as we can, stop off with some interesting cars that we like. We've got the drift set up, different wheels on the front like that. Dave, this is your old car. Yeah, someone, uh, yeah. Just, <laughs> someone actually asked Jack, he was doing washing the car outside. He's like, that's Dave car. I was like, no, that's not actually. And also, he has back seats. What's the point? Is he an Integra? I haven't seen an Integra in a very long time. That's for sale, apparently. I'm going to say Cresta. I'm probably wrong. This is a Corvette, old school Corvette. Oh, you, you like Corvettes, don't you? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> that was a bit old for me now. Hey, look, it's like a Hummer on a Hummer. That's very cool. 
Oscar Sore. Like you know what? I never think of your Sora as a Mark II. You never call it that. No, nope, but it is a Mark II because that's a Mark One. Keane is a big fan. You he's like this a, one? Keane's a Civic boy. Oh, I, I hired Keane and Keane is a Civic boy. Fun fact about Keane, he actually had a stripped out Civic. Once upon a time. Once upon a time. We're going to come over here and have a look at this. And we're going to point out that this Aristo is static. That's static. This is a bit of a star of the show for me now. Kamikaze. I'd say that's the guy who scraped so much that it doesn't matter anymore. He doesn't even hear it anymore. The chassis is. Look at this. Are they reversed BBS? Are they reversed? They are reversed. Wow. That is some camera game. That's very nice. What's happened to you? Well, it's, like, it's like a show bonnet. It, it covers up all the shit and just shows you the engine. <laughs> that's the technical That's the technical, that's the technical Is that why you have a full bonnet then? <laughs> <laughs> so you know um, the BMW E36 setup, Adam? So you know your setup? Yeah, it looks, yeah, yeah, it looks okay. almost identical yeah, yeah. to this. Uh, Lamborghini Diablo, because of course that's what you'd park beside the golf. Um, that's, I love the show, the randomness of the cars. This is Simon Dean's Diablo. They look very cool, don't they? Very nice. I like the light. Look at the front lights. Like the LED special lights are really nice. Are they the indicators as well and stuff? Yeah. It's like wow. A, Angel eyes, actually. John Joe's Laurel is like a, everything of me. I think if I could be, I everything could, is with you. Like, like, perfect. It wouldn't change. That's, that is unbelievable. Is that midnight purple? Yeah. That is an unbelievable car. Yeah. Nice. Cow, cow, this yeah. is very nice. Cow, cow. Very nice. Can I just say, you, this is about the, I will say, seventh video now, where you said the nice, how long before you actually buy one? You get nicer. So you like to know what power that is. Come in. Say it's big power. It's, it's 140 power. horsepower. He's got all the sound dead and stuff in there. It must be very loud. <laughs> um, I say that's dead in the sound. Steve from Siege uh, Car Transport. Is that, mint. that is the cleanest Supra, yeah, I would say. Mint. mint. Right. If the car was built to the opposite level of detail your MX-5 was, <laughs> this would be it. <laughs> that is painstaking to make it that pretty. Yeah, it also has mirrors at the back, so when it has mirrors underneath the car, Hang you know, second, you know what? Does it get mirrors at the back? Oh, to see under it. Look at this. Oh my god, this thing's never even been on the road. So you know you're balling when you have mirrors on Jesus, imagine if you put that under my car. That's about to say. <laughs> no mirrors around our car. You can see through to the sky because it's just rust <laughs> through. This is quite interesting. Brand new Golf GTI on back. That's a very new one. Very, like, super new. Find a thing again. Is this like a thing? This is a thing, obviously. This is very cool, though. Like they, they've made it back to where we started. Oh, I was gonna say, right, we're going right, that way. This video is 40 minutes long so far and we haven't even got a quarter of the way through the show. Say that's what Mike would do as art. <laughs> Grind of art. Grind of art. This lad actually got in contact with us. He wants to do, what was to do a, a proper feature on it, so I think we should do it. If, if you want us to do a feature on this, let us know in the comments. Okay. Very nice car. Very nice golf, though. Very nice. It's Josh's biggest regret. Yeah, biggest. Well, no, I wouldn't say biggest regret. One of my regrets no, is not buying one. I'd say the biggest regret was buying the first MX5. <laughs> <laughs> do you know this little thing? That's got 250 horsepower and it's 700 kilos. It's a Golf GTI engine. What? Yeah. Yeah. Excuse me? Yeah. This, though. That, I'm into that. Like a rock around. Down to the pub for a few scoops. Oh, down to the pub. How we lads? Bop, bop. It's an upgrade from your scooter, anyways. And then we've got our boys from AAA. They've got the whole fleet here. <laughs> Oh, uh, look, it's, it's wrecked, look. It's got a leaf on it, it's wrecked. No. <laughs> ah, for God's sake. Well, we're gonna get to our cars in a bit now, and there's definitely, <laughs> there's more leaves than anything. I was gonna say, there's more than a leaf on my car. They've outsoared me. They've soared to new heights. <laughs> Can I just say, the attention to detail on this is beyond ridiculous. Like, the gust is on the arch there. And this is spoiler. This is the funniest thing. So this spoiler could have just been. We just take a moment to admire this situation over here. This is uh, this is Jonner from JC Auto Care. This is his. This is his new car. <laughs> he was spending Pimpin. so much time polishing that his back is just gone, and now here we are. The but look at this. This could have just been moved like four inches over, but instead they redesigned a whole new metal mount to make it overhang more. 
More, hey, why didn't you go to that detail? No, more went into this than my entire car. These guys are over here uh, rafting off uh, USA assorted biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> They're selling tickets for this store, so hopefully there's still some available for you guys. So you can go and grab them now. I like the wheels, really nice wheels. Okay, we keep it moving. This is, you've seen this on the channel. If you want to go back to a previous video, we've got a full feature on this incredible. Also drove this Josh, frightening. Hilarious. Frightening. Nice super. Those supers are getting cool now. They used to be uh, cheap then, they're very cool. Yep. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's, that's every Japanese car, to be fair. Looks like every Japanese car was cheap, now expensive. One we saw recently. I was going to say all this stand refer back to a yeah. previous video. If you go back to the episode where we did a run in the mountains, you'll see a feature on most of these cars. You even went for a spin in the Audi and the RX-7. Yep. Scrap, 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 scrap. It actually left the shed. Big, big move. And then we did the 36 Adam. You got it there. Don't stand, don't stand too close to it. Don't touch it or it'll fall apart. I was going to say the heat's putting the Tech 7 under pressure. Yeah. And a dragonfly. Oh no. Ah. <laughs> frightening, isn't it? Well, that was frightening. Yeah. We have Marks. Marks, Mark 1, Focus RS. Take that bastard. Mark's Mark, Mark 1 Mark's and Mark's Mark 2. Mark and the Mark 2 and a one of two cars to have in your shed. Both of these. Oh, Keen's there cleaning it. Keen's car filthy. You saw him absolutely, absolutely dirty. Like, yeah, manky dirty. Yeah, he's actually got, he's only got, he's about three or four polishes away from bare metal now at this stage on the car. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> close. Get trying, really and one, trying. And then a car that isn't that close to polish is this. Yeah. It's coilovers look really well. What are these? Ah, oh, these are the, these are the finishing it's touch. Grenades. It's my grenades. Oh, yeah. Because it's such a grenade. It's going to blow up at some point. Blaine's car looks really good. Paddy, my friend, came down today and actually cleaned it. I cleaned it yesterday, but he actually you cleaned did, it. You did not clean it. Hey, sprayed Can it. I, uh, in fact, no, wait, let's go we back here now. Porsche. So Dave said to me earlier on, he cleaned the wheels of the Porsche, so he decided to do one, and I had to hound him to do Hang the second second. Yeah, look. He's so done, these, these two are clean. Done a good job. Here we go. Yeah, this is okay. Yeah. yeah. Then just, if you come around to this side of the car, how are they, how are they looking at them? Ooh. Oh, 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 oh no. These are, these are a matte finish. Yeah. Um, Hang on a second. Oh. Uh, that arm there, I'm finish. There we go. It's your car, Dave. There it is, Dave. Just draw it. There you go. Just stop highlighting the fact that I didn't want to clean the other wheel. You can't didn't see both sides of the car at didn't. the same time. But you can see one side and it's not clean. You just shouldn't have nice cars like this. I no. just can't. I, I gave up so early Dave on the game. selling all of his cars. Please send offers to Active Games. If you have a car out there that cleans itself, I'll trade all of them for it because it's just so time to do it. We just want to give a quick shout out to one of our partners here at Drift Games, CM Wheels. If you're in the market for wheels for something like this, if you want to go for BMW, Mercedes, Audi, that kind of stuff, they have the biggest stock in Europe. They're one of the largest wheel manufacturers in the world. And their prices are insane because they're the wholesaler and not the retailer. So check out the CM Wheels website. They've got something for absolutely every car, SUV, or whatever you've got, and the prices won't be beaten. That website is a dangerous place. You'll probably end up buying a set of wheels, but you won't regret it. The prices are too good and the range is too good. Check them out. There's an i8 with a computer in the back. Do you know what this is doing right now? That's mining for Bitcoin. What? That's a Bitcoin mining machine. That's Bitcoin mining. So that's mining for Bitcoin as we speak. What, what does mining mean? Uh, I don't know, yeah, this ain't the video for that. Now, and, and <laughs> basically, the video became nine hours long. <laughs> basically, neither me or you know what mining for Bitcoin is. So what we do at this point is go, oh yeah, class. That's what Blaine's car could look like. The lip. Is that Blaine's car? Hello. We're just saying that your car looks better than our friend's car. Very nice on that. Japanese fat. This is like a style at I, like, I like these styles. Oh, little spicy bumper oh. boy. Yeah. That would blow your ankles off. <laughs> Legal, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, I don't think the NCT Center would allow that. <laughs> Just for show. <sure. laughs> this is Dylan, Dylan Garvey. Um, this was in the yard. This was the one that was a little bit worse for wear. Yeah, and now it is a show worthy. Show worthy. Spot. It's honestly about. 
you know, 300 this, cars this in this bit. This is for sale at the moment. Which? This. I'm a, bit, I'm a bit into it. Oh, Hang on, what was it? Which one? This. That's it. This? Which one's yeah. for sale? That's the one that's for sale on the winter. This one is for sale. Don't be smart, Adam. I'd be lying if I hadn't looked at it a few times online and said, there's a car I have no need for, but I actually quite like. <laughs> like every other one like, you've bought. Like, to be fair I was going to say, that's every other car you own. Do you like this? Yeah, that's fair. Not nice. only because the lads are in and they have to yeah. say <laughs> Just say nice things in here. So. Yeah, there's a fine line between a very a nice 180 and an awesome 180, and that's an awesome one. Stance and nice colour and serious wheels. Bit of me. You know what? There's actually one of those in the yard, isn't there, at the moment? There is, yeah. I'm, I'm into that. Is it teasing you? Because they're cheap and you can make them look very cool. They look serious. There's a bit of Josh over here. Oh, Josh, look at this car. What? Something, something stupid and small? Yep. Is that literally just <laughs> what you go by with my car? Just stupid and small? Dream chase, I like that. <laughs> he's, he's getting involved. Do you know what? This is class. This is very cool. Oh, look, look, at at, look, at, look at the seat covers. Take everything back. This is a bit of me. Don't, 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 don't do you that. Don't touch the you car. Don't touch the car. You can't go inside. You're mental. Are you mental? Are you mental? I'm gonna say this very quietly so no one hears me. There's a lot of nice IS 200s here that are very well done, and I'm getting a bit of a like. I'm, I'm honestly take take your bets now. I'm guessing two months. I like this one. There's another friend. Blades, blades cars, Do you know what? Can't move. You find one. I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> How does yours look good? Mine looks good. Oh, it's a, in a second. They've got the same. It's quite similar. Yeah, they've got the same wheels, pretty much. Now, nah, this one's way better. Oh, but this one has no cushions in the back. It's terrible. Yeah. Oh, we haven't actually showed off Blaine's cushions. The IKEA cushions in the back, yeah. Apparently they're cool. No, they're, they're retro now. Are they retro now? They're cool. Got to make a beeline straight across this way because there's a car I want to show. Is it a PS? It is a PS. Yeah. <laughs> I thought. Oh, you, you ruined the suspense of that moment. Would you look at this? Is it candy red? Yeah, candy amazing. red. Wheels are, wheels are amazing. Engine is amazing. The attention to detail is amazing. The interior is very nice. Interior's, the interior's got all the bright stuff in, hasn't it? Oh, it's got the Kevlar backs of the seats and everything. It's very, very nice. Lovely, actually. There's a lot of best buddies here. That's like if that's like if Josh got a PS13, he would definitely have a convertible. Adam and Josh are quite similar. You would absolutely have a convertible. Why have a roof when you can take away the roof? Why you have a roof when you can take away the roof? Exactly. Now imagine this one. Imagine that one up there. <laughs> with, with, with convertible. Well, this is fresh in from Japan. I bet it's still got the books on the window. Oh, it does. There you go. Like, it has the service history with it, the owner's manual. And that's like the brochure. Yeah, yeah, that's the brochure. That's the brochure. Jesus. There's actually... I've not even got the brochure for is my the roof, car. Roof's electric, has to be. Yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> so what's that for? Yeah, so it's like that's electric. You, you pop, like you pop that, that goes up, and then the electric. Yeah. Back he's only telling you this because he's not sure if it works or not. But no, not sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the roof's been down since I bought it. Ah, uh, absolutely. <laughs> Have you met Josh? <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's getting very cheap. I saw salvage one of these for yeah, six grand. Back to the shop and we'll continue. Video. I like the it's very expensive. He's got with the R33 GTR wheels, which I think is a, a, one of the best standard wheels ever made. Ever made. And really? It's converted yes. obviously because they're 504. Oh, sorry. Is that a fact? Yes. It's a fact. That's, that's not a stuff. They it. say it's, it's stamped on the inside of them. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is the best wheel. It's in the Guinness Book of World Records. GTS Are they raised wheels? Oh, look at this. C37s. What's a sleeper? No, no. It's another, another Galant. Galant. No. I like this situation where there's no pillar. These are my old wheels. These are your old wheels. Right, there you are. It's very nice. It's a very nice cover. It is a very nice cover. Col color. Cover color. Oh, of course, Dave. <laughs> we can go all the other cars and then. Wow, they're shiny wheels. That's a bit. That's a bit of you. Oh, I love that. There's many bits of us around, but that's a bit of you. No, oh, that's lovely. It's really nice. There's actually a lot of nice cars here, like really nice cars. Like, there's nothing better than coming to a car show and just kind of being overwhelmed at looking at stuff. Where normally you kind of do a little lap and it's kind of like whatever. But this is like quality upon quality. Because this, right this video is two hours long because we've spent so yeah. long walking around this unbelievable car show. Welcome to hour four of the video. The amount of detail in this is ridiculous. I even look at the inside. Oh, that's very cool. Oh, wow. Do you want to know what the inside of Josh's head Look looks at like? the mat. <laughs> wow. Look at that. It's coins. I wonder how much. <laughs> there's, there's about five euros of stuff there. 
watched it the map talk. And let me calculate it. <laughs> One of my favourite cars in the show is up here. I might have missed it because it was kind of stuck in all the middle of everything else. This is your favourite car of the show? It might be. This is quite a big statement. That is They're one of your favourite wheels as well, aren't they? Yes. Uh, yes. yes. In good sizes, which are very hard to find. Absolutely spotless. Colour is nice. Bright interior. I think everything he's done there is absolutely spot on. Uh, here we go. Alright, I'm going to leave it in the comments. Do you think I should buy an S200? Just be done with it. Just be done with it. I want to make one that's really, really right, classic. Like probably like a day or two, so you've probably already bought one. <laughs> Corvette for sale. <laughs> Yeah. Here's, 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 here's the question. Right, it's 200. <laughs> we'll buy PX. Yeah. We'll start straight, exchange. Part, straight, straight swap. Straight swap a Mustang for one. Look at the stance <laughs> in the back of this. That is absolutely spot on. Look I'll at say, that. I'll say it's on air. It is on air, but look, look at the. Look at that. My God. That is a lot of time and energy you put into that. We're going to go back and enjoy the show. You guys, we want to give you a little bit of an insight. We had a stand here. I thank Niall for having us down. We've been chatting to loads of people, having a lot of fun. It's been great crack and we got to see some amazing cars. Like we haven't had a car show probably what, nearly two years in Ireland to see it, what everyone's been building in the background. And the fact that it's so diverse, like there's so much different type of stuff, all the attention to detail is amazing. So if you've had a car here today, we've admired it. We haven't got all of them in the video, but um, we've had a lot of fun. So if you guys have a favorite car from the video, let us know in the comments. We're gonna be going to more car shows over the rest of the summer. So if you like these kind of videos, subscribe, like, comment. And if you wanna just comment, Josh is an idiot or whatever, it's just totally up to you. Um, and we'll see you on the next one. Why do you always do a bow at the end? <laughs> Thank you. We're watching. That's what Keen does in the Olympics. Yeah. Keen. <laughs> <laughs> They're just doing the awards here and then Josh Josh pretty nervous now. Yeah, like, Josh you're in with shout here. I think look, I don't know. I thought top ten Jap modified would have been your category, but I think car of the show has your little car all over it. Geek. I don't know, what, what do you think? Not at all. Not even remotely, I hope. I can't even be sarcastic about it. There could be best black convertible NC with a couple of scuffs award, and then you are shooing. <laughs> <laughs> the Gage. fact that all our cars Argan got here in one piece is all the trophy I need, because I would have said that's the most unlikely thing to happen. I'm a winner today, all the panels stay on mine for now. <laughs> yeah, and the annual Tech 7 award goes to. A lot of people around that car at the moment, I wouldn't be so sure. I was going to say the vibrations so, could knock you off. A lad was leaning on it there earlier, and I, was, <laughs> and I think he was, leaning, he was leaning on a structural bit of trim. <laughs> he was standing close. To us, <laughs> just from his uh, Beamer conversation. There you are. Hello. How many, how many uh, six series conversations have you had today? Six serious six conversations. Serious oh, conversations. Oh, oh. <laughs> Chair, Chair, Vince McMahon. <laughs> There's only three left. That's my Well, it's not because it's been three and it's ten, so it's seven. They have a shot. It doesn't matter if there's four cars here, we can't pick ten. We still wouldn't pick those. We pick each car twice. You're holding on to nothing, just fragments of I could win this. You can. Well, if they have an MX5 NC award, I reckon I can win that. There's only one here. If there's best E, whatever yours is. Or there's like four here. You wouldn't even win that. Oh, Dave actually won something. What did he win? Yeah. Do it, do it, do it. The PS. Yeah, I think it was most overpriced PS. That's the last one. First, first, first show I did. So you. We, we, we were talking, we didn't get what, what award you got. The PS13 won car of the show. Of all the show. Of the whole show. I was as surprised as you were and everyone else was. So In fact, he said Spirit Ryan. I thought there might be another one here and I was like, well, it's definitely not my one. But so the, the PS. This is the first show you've entered, is it? It's a nice way to leave the Street Sweepers project when we spent the last three months building so many cars and there was only one car we did absolutely nothing with, <laughs> which was this one, and that one car at the show. <laughs> and we did nothing with it. And the rest of them were arches, wheels, coilovers, misery, and this one won. But yeah, I mean, it's mad now that it's won uh, cars show in Japan, England, and Ireland now, which is pretty cool. Stacking up the old uh, credentials, and I've done nothing, so I feel a little bit <laughs> feel like I just. We're saying you need you need to do something if it's change the color in the engine bay or put new wheel studs on. Do you know what I want to do to it? And this is going to be for the for the people at home. I want to put a livery on it. I want to put like a really gangster livery on the car. 
Is that one of the things that people will hate you for? They could hate me for it. They, they don't touch it, don't touch it, it's amazing. And it is amazing, but if you put a livery on it, it's not really changing the car much, it's just a little bit. So let me know in the comments. Should I put a livery on it, change it up a little bit, make it look a little bit more crazy? Two minds, but you guys might help me out on this one.